Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, which mm, most people are, um, my name is Melissa. I am a homeschooling mom of three kiddos. I have a six-year-old, a two-year-old, and a seven-month-old now. Um, I want to show you guys what we are using for math right now. So we are using Matthew C, which I believe, maybe I haven't done a full video of that yet. I've done a, um, and then we are using Math 1 for the good and the beautiful. So on my Instagram, I will pop that in there for you. Um, I have mentioned that we are currently in Matthew C1 and most of the way through it. My daughter, um, Matthew C is a mastery program. You can't see all of me. Matthew C is a mastery program. So that means that they do all of addition and subtraction from the get go. So everything from like first to fourth grade is taught in first grade as math and subtraction. And she has taught all of it to mastery. And there's not a lot of repetitiveness or it doesn't spiral back. Now, I've found that Matthew C is working wonderfully. She's very strong in math and she is loving it. However, I don't like that she's not learning her um, left and right. She's not learning money. She's not learning um, the clock. Those are things that I want her to learn sooner rather than later. She's also not learning like um, months or days or seasons, that kind of thing. She gets a little bit of that in our science, obviously. But I went ahead and printed off, okay, this is the one we use, so it's crinkly. Um, I printed off the Good and the Beautiful Math 1. And when it comes to the actual math in here, she is on it. She has got the answer. She's done with it. She doesn't need my help for none of that. But when it does come to the math, like the um, learning the months of the year and stuff, she is struggling a little bit. So I'm really glad I added it. I know it seems like a lot of extra work to add another math, but she's just, she's really strong in it and it doesn't seem to be bothering her. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys through this Matthew C that I printed. Um, not Matthew C. I'm going to show you guys the Good and the Beautiful that I printed out for her. Now, the Good and the Beautiful does offer Math 1, 2, 3, and 4 online for free. I will link that below for you. Um, they do also, you can order it from them too. Like we order our language arts and it's already bound for us and it's printed nicely from them. But, and our handwriting, we order handwriting from them as well. But for this math, I wanted to see, I didn't want to buy another one yet if I wasn't sure if it was going to work for her or do what we wanted it to do or if it was going to be too much. So I went ahead and I actually had my mom print it because I have an HP printer, but she has the Espeon, so it uses a lot less ink. And I will show this to you. So one moment here. Okay, so now that I have you turned around, my laptop's there. I've been doing homework and our library card is over there, so just... It's all right. So this is the Good and Beautiful Math Course book, and it is the printable version, which you can find for free on their website. And here is the table of contents. So I will show you guys this. So they do go over left and right, writing numbers, month of the year. They go over the time or the clock, counting by fives and thirties and tally marks. And she could use some repetitiveness on counting by fives and twos and stuff like that. So that'll be helpful for her. Writing her numbers, the calendar, Greater than and equal to, subtraction, counting backwards, pennies, nickels, dimes, writing cents, pairs, counting calendars, some more, unit assessments, fact family, subtraction, hundreds charts, quarters, bar graphs, copying, tally marks, hexagons, graphing. So in the math and subtraction side, she has done almost all of this already with Matthew C because we started Matthew C one alpha It's called Matthew C alpha in kindergarten because she is so strong in math. However, I really do want her learning some of these other things like understanding months of the year and understanding the um, pennies and count counting and money and understanding graphs and things like that. And if she could, have some repeats on counting to fives and tens and counting by twos, fives, and tens and stuff. That would be really helpful too. And as always, everything by the good and the beautiful is always done very beautifully. So it does come, if you order it online, it comes with a math box, which would make this a lot easier. We have been making do. So when they use the sticks and stuff in 
here. Sorry, my chair is super squeaky today. We go ahead and we just use the blocks that came from Matthew C. And when they need a clock, I had this little bugger. So I had this little guy. So we went ahead and we just used this when we need a clock. And then she's got little tiny like figurine toys. So when we need a figurine, we have her go and get one of those. So I go ahead and you can see here about the course, what you're going to need. They'll let you know when you need the math box or a white whiteboard. We do have one. We just picked up a whiteboard from the Dollar Tree. This is just a really cheap, falling apart Dollar Tree whiteboard that has a puppy dog on it yet. Um, so that's where we got our whiteboard from. This course does not have its own teacher guide, so it does come teacher guide and the student book in one. There is no answer key, but I do believe there is one online if you need it. Um, most of the answers are pretty simple, but if you do need one, that is in there for you. This course is set up to do a four day week, so you do not have to teach five days a week, where Matthew C is set up for a five day week or longer if you do a bunch of the extra practice sheets. Where Matthew C is set up so it's at least five days and often longer if you do some of the systematic reviews. These have a review box in the beginning, the lesson itself, and then a review at the end of the lesson. So, some frequently asked questions. And then here it will tell you in the unit overview what new concepts are being taught and they give you some tips on the side and they do this for every unit and then if you need any extra supplies. So this was our lesson one. They went ahead and they taught left to right. They had find the fish by doing left to right. Um, they had a little game down here. She actually really loves this math. Every time I get it out, she goes, oh yay, our game book. So she doesn't even have an, an inkling of the fact that she is also doing a second math. She thinks it's her game book. So we did some coloring. It always incorporates some coloring, filling, finishing the shapes. And then here we have some writing numbers. And then here towards the back, let's see here. They'll do some identifying shape parts. The rhombus road. Window washing, some more shapes from the looks of it and understanding. So upper right hand corner are the rectangles. Doing some grid dot work. And then calendars, which this is one of the things I really wanted her to understand that I really thought she was lacking was calendar work, the clock, and money. So here's some clock practice. And even though we're not necessarily secular or religious homeschoolers, I love this course. I have not seen one mention of religion so far in what we've done. It's not to say it's not in here. I haven't read every single page. So don't take that to heart, but I haven't seen anything. Here's some money practicing. So lesson 52 for sure has some quarters, understanding math. And I just, and they do, I believe the math unit box comes with these little um, shapes. And we just skipped this right now since I don't have the math box and I don't have anything that she could use to make those shapes. So currently that is the solution is just skipping it, which isn't the greatest, but at the same time she does have math you see as her main spine of math. So this is just an add on for us. But I could see this easily being somebody's main spine. There's nothing missing in it. It's done very well. It is a spiral program, so it introduces a concept and then introduces it a little bit more. And so it introduces a concept and then wraps back around to it and builds on it versus mastering a concept, which is a lot easier for some children. And then, of course, here's like the course assessment for one of the units. Backwards, counting by twos, spell their numbers, memorize. 
their fractions, well, memorizing addition facts, sorry. Complete some sections, so a conditional oral assessment section. Additional practice. So then she would go ahead and do some additional practice, even in odd numbers, the calendar, additional practice with calendar, place values. So all the things they would want you to know by the end of the course. Dividing items, addition and adding shapes. So I personally, adore the good and the beautiful. Um, I never actually thought I would. My husband is, I don't know, he identifies himself as atheist technically. So I personally really like the good and the beautiful. We're not necessarily religious homeschoolers, but we do use what works for us. So I came across the good and the beautiful a lot online and I've used a little bit of like some of their free resources here and there. And then when I when my daughter started really struggling in language arts, I was like, well, what if we just try their language arts? Cause it is free. Let's see what happens, see if it works. It was amazing. So then I went ahead and I bought the language arts pre-K. I bought that as a PDF and I printed it myself. She caught on so quickly and I loved that. Um, then we went ahead and bought straight from them language arts level and then also level one and then I just in the middle of the school year when I decided to add more math I wanted to make sure it was going to work for her before we bought it um, I do believe for next year though we will be buying the math box so the math box um, for math, good and the beautiful number math two and I love that she doesn't really notice that, she, that she's doing two math she sees it as this is something fun I get to do and I love that love that so much thank you for watching this flip through of the matthew c if you have any questions or want to see anything in more detail please leave me a comment below and let me know if you want to see what we do on a daily basis which is really just um photos and videos of my messy house um you can see my instagram here my dog is throwing a fit in the kitchen and i don't know why please subscribe and hit the like button i will see you guys in the next video i usually do two videos one one to two videos a week um Right now it's been one. I would like to do two to three, but time just does not allow it right now. So I will, I'm doing my best, but definitely right now I'm doing one video a week and it's not always on the same day. So if you have an idea of when you think that should be, go ahead and shoot a date and time in the below. If it works for you better than another date or time, I'm open to suggestions. Talk to you guys later.